Okay, I want to talk about money today. Yep, you're looking at a silver certificate. The U.S. dollar used to be backed by silver and even gold. Now, it's not backed by anything. It's just printed on a piece of paper. And it's worth money because people believe it's worth money. Here's some real money, some silver dollars. Those right now probably cost you at least $15, excluding the coin value to buy right now. Because silver is, I think, $13 an ounce or somewhere around there. I've traveled around the world. Brazil's had hyperinflation. Of course, uh, let's see, Argentina, where I used to live. There's the peso. And I remember when it was up to 10,000, 100,000 peso bills. And those are worthless now. Every paper currency in history has eventually become worthless. And unfortunately, uh, the conspiracy has planned that for the dollar. And people that have studied their history know that eventually the dollar will be worthless. But it can take a fair amount of study to have that absolute confidence. One thing I want to talk about, Ron Paul won the debate last night. Here's a book, 1982. The Case for Gold by Representative Ron Paul. Look at that thing. So Ron Paul has been a constitutionalist his whole life as far as I know, but definitely back in the 70s and 80s. He's a fantastic man that has stood by the, con the Constitution. So I want to read a couple passages from Ron Paul's book so that everybody is aware that paper currencies eventually become worthless. And uh, today it took uh, about $698 to buy an ounce of gold. Just a few years ago, you could buy an ounce of gold for only $350. So the dollar is down 50% just in the last three or four years. That's reality. Okay, as I've said, Ron Paul is a great man. So, this book, 25 years old, listen to this. Political money always fails because free people eventually reject it. This is from the forward by Ron Paul. Governments can fool people for a while with paper money, but it's inevitable that trust in the money, something always required for it to serve as a medium of exchange and allow for economic calculation, will be lost. The Constitution provides for gold and silver as real money. Uh, these pieces of paper, these Federal Reserve notes, are just pieces of paper. People are losing confidence. It took $700, at least the futures market, $700 in December, 700 of these to buy an ounce of gold. And I predict it'll be $1,000, not before too long to buy an ounce of gold. So get rid of these pieces of paper and exchange them for real goods, tangible assets, wheat, honey, gold, silver, and other necessary items. That's my strong advice. Get going now. You don't have to panic. Just start doing it. Start doing it. Don't leave a ton of money in the bank. Turn it into real things. Okay? That's a true voice of warning, and that's great advice. You'll look back at this video in a few months, and it'll be great. I've been busy making a DVD. It's almost finished, and I'm going to get into this in depth, real big depth. But there's an urgency here. Get rid of these. Change them into real assets. Study Ron Paul. Learn about it fast. Go into hyper-learning mode. Go for it.